Hey guys, what's going on today? We got a new series starting here for you. Um, we're going to be getting ready for winter 23 season. Uh, first thing we're going to do in this series is install some lights here in the Legend snowmobile trailer. So, if we take a look here, <clears throat> I have three eight foot LED lights that will be running front to back on this trailer. We're going to be running them along this corner piece of trim. Uh, reason that they're all going on this side, nothing on the other side of the trailer, is because on that side we have, let's see if we can get this in, yeah, we have one, two, three storage cabinets to put up along the wall. We have a diesel fuel tank for the S bar heater to keep us warm or to melt the sleds down in the middle of winter. Uh, diesel heater is better than propane, that way it doesn't add all the humidity and moisture into the air. We have a 3000 watt inverter here to power the lights. It's an inverter charger too, so if we hook it up to shore power or 110, it will charge the batteries as well. The truck is gonna be set up to charge the batteries uh, also. So what we're going to do is we have some hardware here, little snap clips, right? These came with the lights, four per light. Uh, I did, the pack did come with four lights, but I will only be using three because I cannot fit a fourth. What we're gonna do is we're going to set the, the clips up here and I'm gonna add an extra clip. So I'll run five clips per light, I think. Uh, just cause the trailer does travel a lot and then that will give us the best chance of keeping these lights fastened to the wall. Um, we will not be putting the lights in the center, but instead along the bottom edge. Reason being, if you look just right in here, the light comes through perfectly and just misses the bar for the lift assist for the rear doors. As we can see, there is no snow out there, sadly, but it is July, so it's about 30 degrees here today and a heat warning in Southern Ontario. So about the furthest possible away from snow that we can get. But that being said, does not mean we cannot be getting ready for winter. So what do we have? We have some lights. We have a diesel heater coming in the future video. We have an inverter install in a future video. We do have a battery box to install in a future video. We have three cabinets that will also be coming up. Um, and then we have some work to do on the summit here. Uh, and if you guys are interested, I'll tease this a little bit. We have a 23 Sidewinder XTX coming on pre-order and a 23 Backcountry coming. So if you want to see some comparisons and some reviews of those sleds, get subscribed because they are coming as soon as we get our hands on them. So I will set up probably two GoPros, one in each corner, and I will time lapse this install. Okay guys, a little dark in here now. Got all the doors closed except for the man door so we can see a little bit. Got the lights installed temporarily off an extension cord because the inverter's not in yet. Switch that on. Look at that. We got a shadow here. That's not actually shadow. That's from the camera up there. That's not visible on the wall. You can see it moves with the camera. You're gonna have to look into why that's happening. But that will conclude today's video. 
on the light setup. Now we got an inverter coming up. We have a S-bar heater coming up. We have a rebuild on the summit coming up. Uh, Got to redo the suspension at the rear. I have a full engine rebuild to do. Well, not crank. Reseal the bottom end and do top end pistons, rings, gaskets. So we're going to do that. Have a video coming up on that. We do have a 23 Sidewinder, 23 Backcountry coming. So if you guys want to see those, get subscribed. Drop a like here as well. And thanks for watching.